Let's begin by fixing a monoidal category V. We let V tensor unit be a monoidal category. A V category, which I'll denote A, consists of the following. So first we want a set of objects, which we denote ob A. Then next we want a hom object, which we denote a, a, b, and this is an element of the objects of our monoidal category v. And we want this for each pair of objects a and b. Third, we want a composition law, and this is a map which I'll denote MABC, going from the hum object of B and C, tensored with the hum object of A and B, to the hum object of A and C. And this is for each triple of objects of A. And finally, we want an identity element, which is a map from the unit of the monoidal category to the HOM object of A and itself. I want this for each object A. Just like in the case of normal categories, we have some collection of objects, and for each pair of objects in our category, we have a hum object, but now this is not a set necessarily. It's in general just an element of our monoidal category V. Moreover, we need to define a composition law, and this is for each triple, we define a map in the monoidal category V that goes between the tensor of uh, two HOM objects to the third. And finally, we need an identity element. This is a map going from the tensor unit to the HOM object um, of any object with itself. As always, these data are required to satisfy certain properties. And in this case, we require the commutativity of two diagrams. So the first one is associativity. Here we start with the hum object of objects C and D, tensored with the hum object of B and C, and this whole thing tensored with the hum object of A and B. Now with the associator in the monoidal category, which we denoted alpha, we can reassociate these tensor products to get the following. From the left, we can apply our composition tensored with the identity to compose the left to hum objects. And this gives us a hum object A, B, D. This is still tensored with the hum object AB. On the right, we can do the same thing, just in the other order. So we have the identity tensored with the composition to give the hum object at CD, tensored with the hum object at AC. And finally, we can compose one last time to get the hum object at AD. And we can do this from both sides. The second diagram we want to commute expresses the unitality of composition. Here we can start with the monoidal unit tensored with the HOM object at A and B. 
And then we could apply the identity at B on the left. So this would be identity B tensored with the identity. So this is the identity morphism on the HOM object in the monoidal category V. This is a map into the HOM object at B and B tensored, and we leave the second object alone. And now we can compose to get to the HOM object at A and B. Alternatively, from the top, we could have used the left associator, so that's lambda, to get down to the HOM object at A and B. Now, this diagram expresses that the identities are identities with respect to composition on the left, and we need to do the same thing for composition on the right. In this case, we start with the HOM object at A and B, tensored with the unit, and then we can take the identity on the first HOM object tensored with the identity at A in this case, and this gives us HOM object AB tensor HOM object of AA. And now we can compose again to get to the HOM object uh, between A and B, or we could have started from the top and taken the right associator to get uh, directly to the HOM object between A and B. Thus, these diagrams express that these identities that we've defined actually act like identities with respect to composition on the left and on the right. And this concludes the definition for a category that's enriched over a monoidal category B. Since I again can't fit the definition on one screen, I'm going to review the definition once more so that we understand it. A category enriched over a monoidal category V, which is called a V category, consists of the following data. We have a set of objects, ob A, and for each pair of objects, we have an HOM object that lives in the monoidal category. Moreover, we have a composition law between two HOM objects, so it takes two HOM objects that have overlapping codomains and domains, and then it creates a third HOM object from that. And this is a map in the monoidal category V. And finally, we have another map in the monoidal category V, which will serve as the identity for this composition, and this is a map from the monoidal unit to the HOM object between an object and itself. These data are required to make two diagrams commute, namely this diagram expressing associativity and this diagram down here expressing unitality.